Producer, this is, you must be immensely proud with the opening night gala. I mean, it must be amazing for you. Well, the last, I did, uh, the last time I was here was for Star Wars. So yes, it's a very, very, uh, it's a good moment. Yeah. It's a lovely I can imagine moment. as a producer, you get a lot of scripts. Uh, what was it about this one that stood out for you? Well, David Oyelowo's uh, passion to make it was the first of all. We were doing a film called Red Tails. He gave me the book by Susan Williams. I read it immediately. I said, we, you know, this is an unbelievable chapter in history that I knew nothing about. And I love Africa and I love shooting there. And um, his passion was so great. I just said, listen, let's just do it. It may take some time, but let's, uh, let's make it happen. And it did take six years, but finally. You know, you have a moment like this. I was going to ask you about that because I was at the press conference earlier and he'd said about how long it, his passion was so great and it took so long. I imagine that's kind of frustrating, but also now that you're here, it must be immensely satisfying. Well, when you're making smaller independent films, you know, competing against big, big, big films, you kind of know the reality. It's hard to raise the money. It's hard to find the distribution for it um, because you're just blotted out by these big tent poles. And I understand that because having done tent poles before, I know what it can do to you know, an independent filmmaker. But this was, we knew we would get it. It just was a question of when. And then once Pathé came involved, it was fantastic. We were on the, we moved immediately and shot the film and edited within a year. How was it working with uh, Amara Sante? Because she's such a, a unique voice in cinema at the moment. She uh, is, just amazing. there's nothing I can say <laughs> about what it's like, the experience of working with her, because it is such an honor and joy, because she's such a great person. She's such an incredible talent. Um, every one of us, the crew, the cast, absolutely worship her and would do anything in the world for her because she's so special. And it's a uh, no, really, really important artist and I pray that she will have the most amazing future because she's worth it. It's a very heartfelt and emotional story but also a very important story. Why was it important to tell this story sort of now in 2016 to release it now and, and get it out? Well, there? I think, I, to tell you the truth, I would have given anything to have made it in 2010, 2012, <laughs> 2014. It's just the circumstances. But as it happens, it dovetails into a, a specific moment of history that actually is important for all of us, especially with the, you know, uh, in our country, yep. someone like Trump running for president, you know, uh, this is the opposite of that message. Love does conquer all. Yeah. I just want to ask you very quickly about, the, obviously, you were involved with yeah. Star Wars yes. and the prequels and yes. everything. You're still involved, I think, a little bit in Star Wars. Is that, no, is not that really. No, no, no. Uh, uh, I retired from Lucasfilm about five years ago. So how does it, how does it feel now looking in and now that, the, obviously, Force Awakens was such a, a huge success? And oh, I think the it's franchises. fantastic yeah, because it's a whole other, uh, you know, it's another trilogy or another six, eight, ten films, whatever Disney wants to do for a whole nother audience. That's, that was the joy and pleasure for us for making it. Not only the special edition to get it back to uh, a place where kids who didn't have the opportunity to see it when they were young and then the prequels. So this is just gonna carry on the tradition. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, it's always gonna keep going. Thank yeah. you so much for your time. Not it was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank yeah, you so thank much. You. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen.